Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Abdi Sofia. I'm the New American Initiative Coordinator with the City of Calabas Department of Neighborhoods. I have also have the privilege to be the facilitator of the New American Leadership Academy. And it is absolutely great honor for me to welcome you all tonight, this evening, I mean this afternoon, sorry. Um, you know, Columbus, we all know, is one of the most multicultural city in the nation. But it was not like that a while back, a few decades ago, and it changed to become a magnet city. And you may ask what makes Columbus so magnet city? It's because of you. Because Columbus is smart. Because Columbus is a welcoming city. Because Columbus is a global city. I know the mayor always says it's also the, the America's opportunity city. Right, mayor? Um, so how global it is, indeed. How many, how many countries, nations are out there in the world? Those who have flags of the United Nations. 194, 195. Well, they are all represented here in the city of Columbus. And I can prove it. Actually, we can prove it right now, right here in this room. Would you like me to do that? Yeah. Now, let me go back a little bit and help me. <laughs> <laughs> help me translate. What did I start it? Good afternoon, right? Let me hear it in Spanish. In Somali. In Nepali. In Arabic. In French. In Hindi. In Japanese. In, in Amharic. In Swahili. In Urdu. Should I keep going on and on and on? <laughs> and that is the point. Right there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Help me welcome the Assistant Director of the Department of Neighborhoods, Toya J. Johnson. Good evening, everyone. As Abby said, my name is Toya Johnson. I am Assistant Director for the Department of Neighborhoods. I oversee our Neighborhood Services Division. And we are ecstatic that we get to have the New American Leadership Academy as part of the programming under Neighborhood Services. So as Abby mentioned, we have all of these wonderful nations represented here in Columbus. And so I'm going to need some of you guys to teach me some of those languages, because that was beautiful. It sounded beautiful. Um, we are fortunate to live in a, a multicultural city, and I'm delighted to welcome you here and to be here to celebrate the accomplishment of these 19 wonderful fellows that we've had the honor of being with over the past three months. So congratulations to you all. It's a pleasure to have you here um, for this event. I want to thank the fellows for their commitment to the program. Um, we met frequently and our sessions were long, it's after a long day's work, went into the evenings, but I wanna thank you for your commitment to the program and for being open to learning more about Columbus and what you can do to help improve the city of Columbus by being engaged civically. The other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to just say, um, as we continue this program, you guys are the second cohort of this wonderful program, and we hope to do this for many, many, many years. Um, so we in encourage you to um, talk about your experience with members of your community and abroad, um, to talk about what you learned here, and I'm hoping that you learned as much from us as we learned from you. So share, share information about NALA. We're gonna be starting our fall cohort um, here in just another month or so, and um, as we're looking to continue to grow and expand, we, we welcome your feedback as to you know, what we did well, what we can do better, and how you might be able to help influence um, more of what we're doing here in Columbus. So I have the honor of introducing um, our director. She is the best director in the city of Columbus, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> she's a great leader, and I know that you all um, have gotten an opportunity to, to meet her, and I think you would probably agree with me in terms of uh, her wonderfulness. Um, but it is my honor to welcome Director Carla Williams Scott to the podium. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. 
it is it is awesome to be with, be here with you this evening and recognize our 19 New American Leadership Academy participant participants who are completing the 2019 spring cohort. I'm excited that your family and friends are here to join us this evening as we celebrate each of you. You know, Toya and Abdi mentioned that last year when we started our New Americans Leadership Academy, we started this um, process venture with, an, um, with the intent to provide leadership and increase civic engagement among our new American, our growing new American residents. And so you are a part of, of that process. Since NALA's inception began, we have had 157 individuals from diverse backgrounds that have applied for the program. But just know that you are a select group of the 40 that will be NALA graduates once the, um, this ceremony is over this evening. The NALA family is growing, and as Toya mentioned, on August 21st, we will welcome our 2019 fall cohort. But before we do that, I would like to recognize and honor those folks who are from our first cohort that came out to support you. So can all our graduates from the first um, cohort of NALA please stand? Thank you guys and thank you so much for coming out to support um, these folks this evening. I had the opportunity to observe your group projects at, during your last session and I was encouraged and obviously I was blown away um, by the extraordinary talent that you demonstrated and just your commitment to uh, Columbus and to our communities with the uh, service projects that you participated in. It has been a pleasure for me and my team to work with you over these past few months, and I hope that um, you have enjoyed it as well. It is also our expectation that we'll, you will use the experience gained from this program to uplift your respective communities and our greater Columbus community. So again, congratulations, and now it is my honor to introduce you to the man who made this all possible, our Mayor, Andrew Ginther. Good evening. What a great evening in the city of Columbus. I am so excited to be with you tonight in celebrating this incredible group of uh, this second cohort. Uh, some great folks in our community that are, have raised their hand and said, I'm, I'm stepping up. I'm willing to take on more and take on a leadership role in our community and couldn't be more grateful uh, for them and their time. I want to thank our director and this incredible class and all your families that have come to join you and celebrate you tonight. Some of the alumni, as uh, the director mentioned. Um, you know, Columbus is in a time of unprecedented growth. We are America's 14th largest city. We have the fastest growing economy in the Midwest. Every week it seems we're put on another top list. Best uh, college town, top 10 city to live in right now, top 10 rising city for startups, America's opportunity city, where our vision is that we want to have the largest middle class of any city our size in the country, and a place you're more likely to go from poverty to the middle class and beyond than anywhere else in America. And we know that welcoming the best and the brightest, not just from around the state, but the country and the world, is one of the most important ways for us to realize that vision. We are a top city for immigrants. We are a vibrant, smart, and open city, and our new American population is a big part of that. Our immigrant neighbors bring a rich cultural diversity to our city. They contribute to our economy. They're part of the fabric that makes Columbus so, spe so special. But I know that our immigrant and refugee populations also face unique challenges in navigating local government which is why we felt this new American Leadership Academy was so important. This class of the second cohort, you spent the last 11 weeks enhancing your knowledge of civic engagement and discovering ways to contribute to your communities and Columbus as a whole. As the director mentioned now, it is you, time for you, to take what you've learned and apply it to your lives and your futures and to pass it on to your neighbors. 
and get them engaged and involved. It is dedicated, energized, and organized individuals that have made this city and great cities around the world so special. Servant leaders, leaders that are involved in our community now, and those that will look to you in the future to provide and encourage involvement from those around you. Thank you for taking the time to participate in the new American Leadership Academy. It is uh, a pretty unprecedented time in America when divisions and rhetoric have never been more high and fanning the flames of, of hate and divisiveness and labeling the other. There's a dysfunctional discourse taking place at the national level and I would argue to a certain extent at the state level. So our choice is to either get in that fight, which is a res relentless race to the bottom, human dignity and human worth, or choose the alternative, to reflect and be that shining city on the hill, what we would hope our state and our country would be like. It's to stop talking about it and doing it, living it out as a city and as a community. And that's why this new American Leadership Academy is so important. We are a nation of immigrants. As you can tell this time of year, I've got a little bit of Cherokee in me. It's harder to tell in February. And of course, if your name's Ginther, it, it, you're gonna have some German and some Scottish in you as well. So I leave you with the words of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Remember, remember always that all of us, you and I especially, are descended from immigrants. We are what has made America great. And we are what are continue going to make this city, America's opportunity city, a beacon of light for a state and a nation still trying to find their way. Friends, I want to introduce a great champion and ally of ours for this incredibly important work a great advocate for us on Columbus City Council. Uh, please welcome Council Member Rob Dorns. Good evening. I want to echo the sentiments of, of the mayor and the director. This is a fantastic program. And it's rooms like these that make you proud to be in Columbus. You know, I bring you greetings from Columbus City Council. And on council, we, we attempt to be as accessible as possible. You know, we always joke there's seven of us and 890,000 people all across the city. We can't be everywhere all at once, but I will tell you, we try. And as we try, we see more and more folks across neighborhoods all across the city that have joined us from every country across this planet. And it makes me proud. A lot of things the mayor talked about, about the, the rhetoric that's going on at the state and national level. I'm very proud of a community that has grown uh, to be accepting, to be welcoming, and to bring forward uh, the best and brightest of folks in our community to have uh, the kind of place that I think everyone in this room is proud of. I uh, want to say an extra special thanks to the folks who've, both the alumni who are here and the folks who have went through this cohort. Uh, and also want to ask you again to, to take another step forward. Uh, whether it's a friend or family member, uh, encourage them to, to be in cohort three, cohort four, cohort five. Because uh, we need you all to continue to be the voice of your community, the voice of Columbus. Uh, because without you all, uh, we, we lose something. And I think that's very important for us as a city to continue uh, to be that opportunity for folks who are not only already here in the city, uh, but who are going to get, you know, come here in the future. And very, very proud that we have a city that takes on projects like this to put you all in a position to be leaders, not only in your own community, but leaders of the city. So thank you for being here tonight. And with that, I want to bring up uh, one of my favorite directors um, in, in, the, in the city government, uh, Director Carla Williams Scott, uh, the Director of Neighborhoods. And I'm honored to work with her every week at, uh, at the department and certainly uh, very proud of the work that her, her and her team has done to, to bring this program forward. So with that, Director. So each year, one, um, each cohort, one of the things that we do, the cohort votes for a member of their class to um, speak on behalf of the group. 
And so this, it is my opportunity um, to introduce you to the gentleman who will be the class speaker for today, Cesar Bravo. Cesar is Vice President of the Hispanic Chamber of, of Columbus. He has dedicated himself to business and agriculture. His passion for these fields is what led him to establish his company, Events by Cesar Bravo, in 2018. He began his journey into the world of business and agriculture while in high school in Los Angeles, California. Cesar attended Crenshaw High School in South Central Los Angeles where he is a, was among students who were accepted to a teacher training magnet academy. His experiences during high school include being a student owner of the nation's first student owned and operated natural products company called Food from the Hood. Cesar, we might steal that name. I like that. <laughs> this program allowed students to work in a fully equipped and functioning self-sufficient business and afforded them the opportunity to earn scholarships and funding for their college education by selling salads. Cesar has experience that spans everything from marketing, finance, to food preparation and development. He believes in sustainability and quality. While working at his family's restaurant, he had the opportunity to put his education to work. Cesar helped his family to increase sales by 210% within three years. He currently works in financial services sector, but contributes his talents to community development and social responsibility through his work with the Hispanic Chamber of Columbus. He lives in Columbus with his partner, Adriana, another local business owner and entrepreneur. It is my pleasure to, to bring up Cesar Bravo. Wow, I feel like Andy Reese winning that uh, heavyweight championship belt with that introduction. <laughs> thank you. I was like Rocky. I was like, let's get this. Okay. Well, thank you because that was like half of my speech as far as like presenting myself. So let's make the best time. I'm serious. That was like the, thank you. That was an awesome introduction. Well, it is my distinguished honor and privilege to welcome you again to our graduation and everybody's like are you ready for the speech and I was like wow it's like no <laughs> <laughs> because I feel this and I want to before I even start that I want to give kudos to the other people that were nominated Bowen raise your hand Liana Alpha let's give them a round of applause because <laughs> honestly everyone should have we can all give 20 speeches, but I do thank you for your vote and for the love and vested in me. So since we're gonna go on with this speech, uh, I'm a first generation New American. I'm what you call a hybrid, okay? Do you know what a hybrid is? Anybody? Go ahead. Mixture. A mixture. That is correct, yeah. Mayor Ginther. <laughs> I am what you called a, um, a Mexican-American, I was uh, made with Mexican parts in Puebla, Mexico, and I was assembled in the United States, Los Angeles, <laughs> California. So being hybrid and a new American, it gives me just the pleasure and the honor to participate. So I want to thank, uh, if I can see her, Sandra Lopez, where is she? Sandra Lopez, thank you for encouraging me for participating, well, applying for this um, opportunity and definitely life-changing uh, for myself. So I was uh, given the task to give you my experience. And so in writing the speech, I was like, you know what, okay. And I told Abby, I'm gonna work on this speech and I'm gonna make it as professional and everything. But this is a graduation. This is a ceremony. This is a culmination. And I said, you know what? They already did the intro, enough about me. Let's talk about my new friends, my family members, my brothers and sisters, yes. So I want to read your names because I have learned a lot from you. Miriam, Mortada, Zubia, 
Blaze, Beniam, Alma, Liana, Andrea, Awatif, Jamuna, Nazra, Anissa, Kazuko, Cather, Donald, Captain, Buen, Maria Nafa. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be part of learning a little bit more, of learning a different language, of seeing a different perspective. And to be honest, it was a life-changing experience. We can all attest. We were not dozing off at those presentations, let me tell you this. <laughs> we were just taking notes, but we were listening. And we want to say thank you to all our presenters, for all the people that took time to make that Wednesday drive from all parts of the city and across the city. Abdi, thank you, the food was delicious. <laughs> And to everyone that was part, our police officers who were present, who are speakers. And so I definitely want to say more of a, just a speech, it's, it's a thank you. It's, it's a way of saying with love, we appreciate you. Uh, pretty much everything has been said about what the program is. And so when people told me, it's like, so what is this NALA thing? And I quote, per the website. And the website would be, if you're interested, www columbus.gov forward slash NALA. I tell them, the New American Leadership Academy is sponsored by the Department of Neighborhoods. It is a leadership and professional development program focused on civic engagement for New American residents, period. All participants receive mentorship, professional development, and cover such topics as government, civic responsibility, and implicit bias. Yes, Mr. White definitely gave us Eight hours of material in two hours. Yes, even, even the, the session one, they're like, yes, <laughs> Mr. White did a great job. And so with, with some of that stuff, what do we leave with? And I was like, okay, what did we leave as a group? And there were so many great things. I leave with knowledge of civic engagement, community stewardship, leadership. And I discovered new ways in how to contribute and be part of my community. We're not here to assimilate, but we're here to integrate. And that is the difference. And I learned that from every single one of the participants by going, taking a break, going to the bathroom, taking a snack, waking up, go get a phone call. But those two and a half hours, I was looking forward to every other Wednesday to come to NALA because I knew and, and almost I felt bad because I'm like, I feel like I'm getting all of this in. When is it my time to give back? Oh, and we did give back. That, those presentations? Yes? Presentations? Okay, I'm like, let me get my people. I want to say thank you to group four for the ladies. And so just to give you a little taste of what group four, it's Puerto Rico, it's Pakistan, it's Kenya, it's Mexico, and am I missing one? Huh? Oh, and especially my brother from another mother, <laughs> Nepal. So, <laughs> yes, yes, we talked about food, we talked about our topic, our project, but it was our way of giving us the tools and the knowledge that we had acquired to come up with a service learning project. And Mayor, I can tell you, you will see some service learning projects really soon. And Where's Abdi? Are we doing good on time? Perfect. Excellent. And so with writing that speech, I said, you know what? It's about saying thank you, giving that gratitude. I want to thank the staff of the city, uh, the neighborhood, Department of Neighborhoods. Can you please raise your hand if you were present at our sessions, at our speaking? Yes, just raise your hands. Let's give them a round of applause. Because it was you, your talent, your passion. Yes, it's a regular job or paycheck. No, it's not. We can definitely know that it's a passion and a career because we were infected with that. And we want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for that. And also for all our speakers. Do we have any speakers? Please raise your hands. I see some police officers. Thank you for your service. Thank you for giving us those talks. Um, is Mr. White here? Excuse me? Oh, Todd, yes. I'm, 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 go I'm going there, I'll be going there. <laughs> yes, Todd, thank you very much. And so there's really a long list of names, and it's almost, 
I'm, I do apologize if I do not name you, but please know that we are very thankful and grateful. It is now our time to actually not only talk about it, but let's do about it. Let's walk, let's talk the talk and walk the walk. So in conclusion, I wanna say thank you for what we have learned. Almost interesting how we can say it, uh, Spider-Man. With great power comes? That's correct. And guess what's gonna happen today? As our mayor said, we are a beacon of light. We're gonna go through those doors. And even though this comes to an end for our academy, it is only the beginning. And I have full faith that the people that came in, the 19 people that came into that room were strangers, were not friends. And the people that were in those groups not only became friends, but they became family. Gracias, thank you. And there's a little something that I wanna do. What does Nala mean to me? It means my family group four, I'm gonna use an example. And now the participants, we had done this. We danced salsa, I'm not gonna make you dance salsa today. But I'm gonna give you a little taste of what Nala means to me. It means community. And what does community mean? Communication and unity. And if you're gonna help me, please stand up. We're gonna do the unity clap and we're gonna end it like that because that's what it means to me. Ready? Yeah. All right, everybody, we're gonna start like this. Feel free to join. Ready? We're gonna go like this. Thank you very much. My name is Cesar Bravo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's keep it going. Thank you, appreciate it. Would you please give him another round of applause? <laughs> Say, sir, at this time, I would like to ask um, uh, Honorable Mayor Andrew J. Ginter, Director Williams Scott, and Council Member uh, uh, Rob Darnes to come up at the podium uh, to join for the awards presentations. Maryam Ali. <laughs> Murtada Al Shekhli. Zubia Asif. <laughs> Blaise Belazari. <laughs> Cesar Bravo. Penny M. Chernet. <laughs> Alma Sriello. Diana Delgado. <laughs> Andrea Dismuk. Awatif Al Noor <laughs> G. 
Shamona Gutman. Nasra Isaac. Anissa Liban. Kazuko Mayaki. Kautzer Mosa. Donald, a captain of Bila. Pull one by a crowd. Maria Ramos. <laughs> Last but not the least is Alpha Tonger. Uh, with that, if you will take uh, to sit back a little bit. Um, thank you, uh, Mayor Andrew J. Ginter, Director William Scott, and Council Member Rob Doranis. Please give him a round of applause, too. Um, congratulations, uh, Nala fellas. Uh, thank you for uh, Nala alumni for joining. Uh, we may have concluded this cohort, but our work have just started. Uh, uh, the speakers, outstanding the speakers, mentioned the contribution and the fact that even though we provided uh, the information and sessions and, and instructions, we actually learned a great deal from you as well. And for that, we would like to thank you. Uh, if it takes a village, according to the African proverb, to raise a child, what do you think it will take to build a community? It takes leadership. It takes, for all of us, as uh, Cesar put it so eloquently earlier, uh, collectively to collaborate, to work for our city, for our respective community, uh, and to make a difference, to leave a world that's better. You know, when I walk at the city hall, uh, hall sometimes I stare at some of those pictures, and what I see is mo former mayors, 1900s, sometimes it's late 1800s. And I wonder, for those leaders who left us, left a legacy, left that building, uh, left a better community for us. And it's our responsibility and our obligation to make a point, to work hard, to live a better community, a better environment for all of us. Um, I will be working with you. We will be here for you. I know you're still working on those uh, different group service projects, and it's really absolutely great contribution for our community. Keep up the good work. Congratulations again. And I would like to invite at this time the current group, NALA Spring 2019, 
to the podium to join my Andrew J. Ginter again, and Director Williams Scott and Rob Palmer for, for, for a photo opportunity. Only the current group for now.